name, Daddy Owen. He has done everything from singing music, and this particular song has come to maybe bite him in the tuckers. The song was called Vanity. Remember that one? Mm -hmm. Vanity. Oh. But apparently his wife saw vanity was more important than the whole marriage, or at least that's the story he's been telling us. He continues to go on a very long but vague rant on one of these uh, popular um, newspapers and he says you know what i'm not gonna out my wife i'm not gonna say anything particular about this particular relationship because guess what the lord will provide information and at least eventually the truth will come out the funny thing that he said on this particular um conversation about his ex-wife ms farida that really really kind of bothered me was this <clears throat> he said nothing makes sense to him let me actually find it, the particular part. He says, uh, the truth is out there. It is hard. We may fight it, but I wish her all the best. He then continues to quote, at least mention a script of the Bible. He says, the only thing that he will give as any indication of what had happened is Matthew 19. And Kathomi, being the curious person that she is, went and checked this Matthew 19. What it is talking about? What is this that Daddy Owen feels so triggered by that he decided, that, you know what, let the Lord be my, my cover, my protector, because I am outing my wife. So this is what it says in the very end. It's a conversation between Jesus and his disciples, and they're asking him what, uh, what would be the cause or what would be the one thing that would lead to divorce between a man and a wife. And <clears throat> this... <laughs> is what the Bible says. It says, I tell you that everyone who divorces his wife except for sexual immorality and marries another woman commits adultery. I shall repeat <laughs> the book of Matthew 19, verses 9. It says, this is Jesus. He says, I tell you that everyone who divorces his wife except for sexual immorality and marries another woman commits adultery. <laughs> Do you need to be told more? Hasn't he already said everything? Hey, this is just, I just want them, both of them, come out, tell us the whole story because it seems it is very, say it with me, juicy. Mm. Can we say it with me? Juicy. juicy. <laughs> this story is so juicy and I cannot wait for it to actually be unveiled. May God send someone to Edgar Barry. For this story to be unleashed, because me, I want to know what happened is. Exactly. Aye. Like, I feel so like he's giving us little bits and pieces, throwing some breadcrumbs our way, and like, we're hungry birds. We mm -hmm. want more. <laughs> we need more bread. Give us more tea. Let us know what exactly happened. But honestly, I saw some, like, people talking about how, like, you know what, okay, you've been left to Ukiatra uh, Chica, just like, you know, go ahead and move on and everything. But, like, this is still fresh. I think we all have been through a heartbreak, and you've all been through a situation where your partner has cheated on you, and you can feel that pain you can feel that hurts it's literally like it breaks you as a person and that's what daddy owen is going through right now so of course he's going to have moments like this where he's there talking about her on uh social media where he's talking about her in interviews and stuff like that and i think he's allowed to do so but i also think that the wife should let us know what exactly is going on because if she doesn't see her side of the story it's we have no other choice but to believe him because he's the only one giving us information and at this point girl he's saying that you cheated he's saying you committed <laughs> sexual immorality Hey. Hey? If you want that to be your story, then you can keep quiet. But if not, just let us know. Come to the table mm -hmm. and spill the truth over here. Yeah, and do you know I was invited to their wedding? Uh -oh. Are you aware? Oh. I attended. Oh. And shamelessly, I wore a kitenge. Mm -hmm. Habi did not tell me that it was a black tie event. I was so embarrassed. But no. it was such a beautiful wedding. I still have the card with me, the invitation card. It is so beautiful. I just kept it somewhere. And when this story came out, I just went like, God. Oh my god, I just looked at the card and I said, <laughs> Anyway, life happens, but Farida is such a beautiful woman. So, anyone at Amnyanganya, so I don't know what see, happened. See, you go talk to your Farida over there and <laughs> ask her, girl, what's, what's happening? happening? But you see, um, uh, Daddy Owen Ametuambia. He's yeah. already spilled the beans. Like, and also, when did it was this because happen? of it's cause of infidelity, because mm. that's the only reason why, according to the Bible, that's the only reason that allows you to divorce someone when someone cheats on you, not when you don't have food in the house. So <laughs> I don't know, but the story it's it's quite sad because uh, Daddy Owen went into depression. Mm. 
Yeah, that's when you know it is very serious. And because he's not talking anything negative uh, about the wife, it means that he still loves her and he's just wishing and hoping that she'll just come back to her senses and come back home. I understand and I did not know that he is a father. Yeah. What? Anyway, some people can keep things private, but he's a father and he just wants, um, he wants nothing to, he just wants to keep it safe because of the sake of the babies. Because, you know, the internet never forgets. Yeah. Child, let us know your whole story. 0777-622-230. What do you think about this whole situation? Do you think, what What do you think is the reason why Farida left Daddy Owen? And do you think he should just tell us the whole story? Because me, I think he just tells the whole story. Because yeah. I want to know.